Hello and welcome to this Kundalini Awakening Meditation. I invite you to find a comfortable seated position with your spine fully supported and shoulders relaxed. Closing your eyes and taking a deep breath in, inviting relaxation into every single corner of your body. And as you breathe more deeply and more slowly through every stage of this meditation practice, We begin the process of opening ourselves up to the Kundalini energy. Kundalini refers to the primal energy that lies dormant at the base of the spine. It is considered to be a life force energy, often depicted as the coiled serpent just awaiting to arise through each of the seven chakras, energy centers within our body. And when awakened, when the Kundalini begins to rise, we will be consciously clearing away any blockages and opening the pathways for higher consciousness. Kundalini awakening process happens over time and can result in profound shifts of awareness, inner peace and a deeper connection to oneself. However, the awakening process can sometimes be intense or challenging. So please hold gentle space for yourself if any unresolved emotions, fears or traumas arise from the subconscious mind. And just beginning to see if you could deepen your next inhale and exhale. If you can focus on the rise and fall of your belly, as we use our breath to find the bridge between the mind, the body and the spirit. It is from this place of peace and relaxation where we will be able to welcome in the Kundalini energy. Every breath takes you deeper on that path. Every exhale, you're releasing more tension. Tension in the body, but also maybe tense thoughts or stressful thoughts. Any time they arise during this practice, you know that you can just let them go on your next exhale. You're slowing everything down. You are consciously connecting to your higher self. You're settling into this deep sense of stillness. And it's from this place of quiet, 
and stillness, hopefully with your eyes closed. That you're going to sink deeply into this dark space beneath your eyelids. Withdrawing completely into your internal world and letting go of your surroundings. From this dark space beneath your eyelids, you're going to open up your inner eye and find yourself standing in a lush jungle. You're surrounded by these tall trees, vines, branches, swaying in the breeze. The jungle floor is soft beneath your feet. And although the jungle might sometimes feel like a dangerous place, you couldn't be any safer than where you are right now, navigating the landscapes of your internal world. Draw all of your awareness into your feet as you stand in this jungle. You might even feel this gentle heartbeat of Mother Earth pulsing through the soles of your feet and up into your body. And Mother Earth is grounding you and anchoring you, connecting you to her energy center. and holding you in this space where the kundalini can begin to rise safely. And on your next inhale, you're going to see a serpent emerge from the bushes. It's going to begin to wind itself up one of your legs and around your body, not holding you, not squeezing you. This serpent has absolutely no threat to your safety. This is your Kundalini serpent. It has been with you your entire existence, sleeping softly at the base of your spine. But the serpent stirs. The serpent is ready to release and awaken this dormant energy. And as it sits coiled around your body at the base of the spine, you can feel that with every breath, the serpent becomes more and more active. Almost as though it is breathing with you. You might even wish to start moving your hips gently. It can be a very powerful feeling to feel this energy build up and coalesce in the base of the spine when we haven't consciously connected to its energy source before. But once you feel fully connected to this Kundalini serpent, when you can feel its warmth and its strength surrounding you, it's 
going to become one with your body. It's going to become a part of you. And it's going to move from the root chakra at the base of the spine. This vibrant red spinning wheel of energy. And the serpent is going to activate this energy at its own pace and in accordance with your highest good. And as it begins to ascend, as it's activated this glowing red root chakra, it's going to reach up to just below the navel into the sacral chakra, where our seat of creativity and passion is awakening within you. This orange glow is stirring in the sacral space might feel even more potent than the root chakra itself. Breathe into that powerful source of energy. Allow yourself to connect with your emotions, desires, and the energy that is growing and ascending within you. And as it moves up from the sacral chakra, now glowing just as brightly as the root, the serpent is going to ascend again into the solar plexus chakra, just beneath the diaphragm. This bright yellow chakra is where our inner fire and power reside our confidence and self-assurance. And as the Kundalini serpent connects to the solar plexus chakra, you are going to feel a deep sense of empowerment to pursue your dreams and goals with courage and so much determination. You might feel your breaths come a little quicker. You might feel called to take some deeper breaths as this very revitalizing energy is firing up within you. And the serpent is moving with so much grace and steady thorough movements through each of these energy centers. And as it moves and connects to your solar plexus, this inner fire is going to be so vibrant and powerful, channeling the energy all the way from the root, the sacral to the solar plexus, until the serpent begins to ascend into the heart. And as soon as it touches the heart chakra, you might feel a profound sense of love and compassion filling your very being. And not only for others, but love for yourself and love for all living beings. Love for this life, for Mother Earth. And simply allow this love to radiate outward enveloping you in its warm embrace, igniting and fueling the green glow of the heart chakra.
and from the heart the serpent will reach the throat. You'll feel a sense of clarity, truthfulness, an openness washing over you almost like the waves of the ocean. As the Kundalini serpent awakens the throat chakra, you give yourself permission to safely speak your truth with confidence and authenticity, knowing that your words have the power to create positive change in your life and in the world around you. You might feel the need to take a deep swallow or to clear your throat as we remove any blockages, any stagnant energy that might be lingering in the throat chakra. But the serpent will smooth any roughness or any difficulty in the opening of this chakra. And eventually it will begin to ascend to the third eye, the space between the eyebrows. This violet, beautiful and powerful chakra is awakened with the help of the Kundalini serpent so that you can begin to see the world and your life and your experiences through another lens. A lens that is far more powerful, far more aware and far more conscious. These ascending energies that you have been working through and experiencing alongside the serpent really reaches its peak here in the third eye. Until eventually it reaches our final chakra at the crown of the head. And it is here where the serpent facilitates a feeling of a sense of oneness and unity with the universe. It is reached all the way from its tail at the base of the spine, up through every chakra, each seven chakra energy centers, to reach this crown of the head where this portal of energy, connection to the divine, it reminds you that you are a beloved child of the cosmos. You're infinitely supported and guided through your journey. You are always open to these higher vibrational source energies. Let's take a moment here in this jungle in this wildness of your inner landscape. And although you can no longer see the serpent, you can feel it from the base of your spine, curving left to right through every chakra until it reaches the crown of your head Taking some deep breaths of awareness as you fully settle in to this powerful feeling of awakening. Take some time to bask in the energy of the awakened serpent, knowing and trusting that a profound transformation has taken place within you.
You might even feel the sounds of the jungle become more vibrant. Even as you look around you in this inner landscape, the colors of the leaves and the flowers, the plants, or even any animals you might witness. It's almost as though you can see the energy glowing around them. As you reach your hands in front of you, your hands might even look like they're glowing. A cellular upgrade is happening in this moment. Every single part of your body, an awakening has taken place. Now this experience will continue to unfold the rest of the day. You might feel called into some movement practices at some point. But the awakening process has now been triggered and you are about to enter a powerful portal of change and transformation in your life. And there is absolutely no need to be afraid. There is no need to be daunted because you called upon this transformative energy and you harnessed the energy that exists innately within you. You will begin to see things more clearly hear things with more discernment and self-awareness. Know things with a deeper sense of clarity and feel things with another layer of awareness. When you feel ready, you'll move from this wild jungle and the space behind your eyelids will become dark once more. But just because you left the jungle doesn't mean that the serpent isn't still within you because it very much is and this activation will continue to be with you for the rest of your life. But whenever you feel that you need a reminder, whenever you feel the need to clear this pathway once more, or maybe you're feeling the effects of some ascension symptoms, this meditation will be waiting for you. Whenever you're ready, opening your eyes once more. Noticing how you feel in your body, your mind, your spirit. And if possible, eating some fresh fruit or vegetables or going outside to feel the earth beneath your feet. Sending you so many blessings on this journey of awakening. And I hope we can continue to support you over on our channel. Thank you so much for being here. And I hope to connect with you again soon.